This is grim. So, the video is obviously titled America What They Don't Show You. Drugs is hitting... Drugs is hitting the states pretty bad. I mean, look at the state of that guy. He is absolutely off his chops. Where is this? Is it like Philadelphia? Is this Philly? The only reason I'm saying Philadelphia is because of the, that overarch thing, the blue thing. Is that like a train system or something? I think it's, and it looks like Rocky, like the set of Rocky. But it's not a set, unfortunately. This is real life. Look at that dude there. What's he doing? He's absolutely off it, man. All these guys and girls are using drugs. And they're living on the streets. The streets is where they get the drugs from. So they just stay there. They're not bothered. Dignity's out the window. Now, there's one thing I want to say about this video before we even get any further forward in this. When I went to the States in 2013, 2014, um, I didn't really get to venture too far out into these types of places, all right? I was in Arizona, uh, 29 Palms, Vegas, San Diego. San Diego saw a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but nothing more than what's in my own city in uh, in the United Kingdom, okay? Um, Sunderland, Newcastle, no, no more, no less than that. But this here is... Um, it's hitting hard. I think you've got a lot of problems in terms of drugs in your country, all right? I'm not I'm not hating on America, all right? It's my favourite country on the planet. I love you guys um, before we get started in that one, all right? But why is it? What's happening with you guys? Is it your president, your current president? Is it a former president? What's the reason for this um, drug consumption on your... Uh, where, where you are? Because it's, it, it seems to be tormenting entire cities... Prostitution's probably going to be through the roof as well. Disabled people. I don't know if they're disabled because of the drug addiction. She looks like she's got a leg off. Probably, probably be drug related. What's going on? There's rubbish all over the road. Like I say, that's going to be common in these places because, to be quite frank, if you've lost all dignity living on the streets, you're taking drugs, you don't care anywhere about where you live, do you? Whatever this drug is, it's just suppressing their ability to even function. They're just zombies, aren't they? Using actively, openly. Where's the police? That's the thing. Where is the police? I mean, they're not even enjoying themselves, really, are they? Young girls there. streets I wouldn't even have a business so look at these businesses beauty salon on the right hand side there I mean people have got to function they've got to survive right but it must be difficult having these outside your front door this dude's doing a slow motion moonwalk that's pretty sad man he's loving life though isn't he for that period of time off his absolute trifle. We've got a fight going on here. Jeez, this is... This is the pits. So we seem to be off like the main drag now. We've got... A lot of disabled people. I don't, again, I don't know if it's disabled because of drug use. I'm guessing it is. You know, infections of areas and stuff, drug use, collapsed um, artery, uh, collapsed veins and things like that. Infections, you're going to lose limbs, aren't you? Rotten the body away. This is drugs, man. Don't do drugs, kids. This is mental. Pretty ironic, I've got that flag in the background as well. You know, the United States, the great United States. But this is the bit that uh, lets you guys down, I think. I don't know what it is, it's obviously policy and stuff. That's letting you guys down. And these poor people are absolutely gripped with drugs. 
drug dealers aren't getting enough punishment, I think. They just seem to be running, right, running wild around here. We've got prams. I don't please. There's no child in there, thank goodness. People are just out of it. What kind of drugs are we talking about here, though, troops? Is it fentanyl? You guys... Is it fentanyl? I'm trying to think of some other names. She's got an arm missing. Not bothered whatsoever. I would feel intimidated to walk down there, but at the end of the day, this is normal for people now, isn't it? And they're not too bothered. Are these girls users? They don't seem too bothered by the fact that this guy is... He's not off his chops. Got more bikes going around, probably stay up the drug dealers to be fair. Shoot and scoop, get in now. If anyone let me know in the comments where this actually is. Yeah, it's not a place I'd like to visit. And I love America. I want to go back there, but this place in particular is not a place you'd want to visit. Even staying at the traffic lights there next to the guys who stand on the streets, um, you wouldn't really want to stay there too long. Ambulance in front probably is going to pick someone who's OD'd. She's walking like Quasimodo. I'm laughing, but not at them, guys. Yeah, this is, this is Philadelphia, right? Sorry guys, my American geography isn't the best. Loads of businesses closed down. Broad daylight. Imagine living here. Jesus, she's just racking the line up. He's just waiting for some gear, probably. Okay, troops, so halfway through that video, I just, I was thinking about this, drug abuse statistics. Now, obviously statistics can be proven wrong with different studies and stuff, so I know the statistics might be might be off, but I've just went literally to the first, um, first viable source, all right, drugabusestatistics.org, um, just to get a bit of a rough idea on the situation in the States, all right, and it's pretty bad. We're going to go and have a look at this now, troops. Um, Again, not hating on America. Please, you guys, you know I love America. Drug abuse statistics. The front page of um, drugabusestatistics.org features the most noteworthy drug use data, including overall uh, overdose deaths, demographics, mental health, drug abuse treatment programs, and the cost of the war on drugs. War on drugs has failed, isn't it? It's like, it's ridiculous. These people shouldn't be criminals. They should be patients. Key findings, 50%. Half of people 12 and over have used illicit drugs at least once. This can't be for the whole of America. I did type in um, for America. That just didn't seem right. 700,000 drug overdose deaths in the US since 2000 are nearing 1 million. And that's just the ones that we know of recorded. That must be right then. Half of people 12 and over have used illicit drugs at least once. Half of the population of the United States. That is insane. Absolutely. That's insane. $35 billion, the federal budget for drug control in 2020 was $35 billion. So 2020. There's a lot of people making a lot of, lot of money. Uh, drug usership among Americans aged 12 and older. It's crazy that it's 12 and older. That's really young. Marijuana, right, used in a lifetime, 45.7%. Used in the last year, 17.9%. Um, used in the last month, obviously that's lower. Cocaine, still pretty high. LSD, third most common. Ecstasy, fourth. Methamphet is fifth. And heroin is right at the bottom there. But that's still crazy, man. Drug usership among American 12 and over. 
a lot of weed smokers. Now, this is the thing with weed. I'm going to get onto this, right? I understand weed. I tried it, you know, when I left the military and stuff like that. It doesn't do anything for me, all right? I want to get stuff done in life. And I just, I'm not the type of guy who can function on that shit. Um, I just want to sleep. I want to eat. I'm not happy with the disassociation that it causes. I'm not too happy with the um, with the way it makes me fail. It's it's not something that I think, mm, I quite like my headspace the way it is, not intoxicated, haven't drank for, you know, over a year, um, just to say the least. So, you know, to me, I don't really like it. There's a lot of marijuana users. Um, I feel as if we've got a lot of people in America getting these um, medical marijuana um, medical marijuana certificates or whatever you call them just to get dope effectively um, and not really treating medical conditions most of the time. I think they're just treating sadness. Sadness is um, something that a lot of people feel. I feel it from time to time, but that stuff doesn't really make it any better. It just kind of allows you to disassociate with that sadness for a small period of time. But I'm not a doctor. I'm not trying to um, push anything on you guys, all right? But that statistic's pretty high. A lot of weed smokers in the US. Um, is it a gateway drug? I think it possibly is. It's definitely a gateway drug if you've got an addictive personality. Like myself, I'm addictive. Um, I get addicted to anything, all right? It um, doesn't have to be bodily addicted. I can get addicted to anything if I allow my body to. So, yeah, I think it can be a gateway drug for some people. Substance abuse statistics among Americans aged 12 years and older, 37.309 million were currently illegal drug users used within the last 30 days. That's like half the population of the UK, over half. 13.5% of Americans 12 and over used drugs in the last month. Jesus Christ. 59 million, 21% of people 12 and over have used illicit drugs or misused prescription drugs within the last year. That is pretty much the UK right there. 138 million, 50% of people aged 12 and over have illicitly used drugs in their lifetime. Mental. 138.5 million Americans 12 and over drink alcohol. Yeah, I mean, that's... Standard, pretty much America, um, UK, Australia. You know, we drink we drink our booze, but I think alcohol's got a lot to answer for. I think it's one of the worst out there, to be honest with you, if not worst. Uh, 25.4% of illegal drug users have drug disorders, and nearly a quarter of those with drug disorders have an opioid disorder. So pain, um, big pharma and all of that are responsible for that, aren't they? Uh, 12 to 17, used to ship marijuana, 10%. Adults 18 plus 18 percent. Kids 10 is 12 to 17 shouldn't be smoking weed, guys. All right. The brain development. Um, <laughs> you 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 just you're just on a road to nothing by using that. It's scary that we um, have got statistics like cocaine use and stuff like that and sedatives in 12 to 17 year olds. That's it's child abuse right there, isn't it? You know, this is crazy statistics, troops. I can't can't actually believe what I'm uh, can't actually believe what I'm reading there. Let's get back into this video. So now that we've got a bit of context, this kind of makes a lot more sense. I want to know, people in the comments, irrespective of where this is or where we think it is, is this commonplace in most of the cities that you're from now? Where is it common? Where is it not common if that place exists in the United States? And do you think the, the, the use of marijuana is... Um, overall a good thing do you think it's a good thing i think it could be a good thing for some people for some patients but i don't think it's um it should be widely available for for most people i just think it gets abused and it allows people to just be cabbages gonna get a lot of people say you know x y and z about it i know it can help people with ptsd and stuff like that so if it helps you in a medical sense then great but i think a lot of people ride on that medical usage and haven't really got a medical problem they just want to smoke dope we call marijuana dope in the United Kingdom, or at least we do in Sunderland anyway, where I'm from. So I think you guys call the heroin and stuff dope, I'm not too sure. At least he's putting his rubbish in a bin. Dog there, looking after them. Trolleys seems to be a bit of a thing to get all the good. Well, they're homeless, aren't they? So they haven't got anywhere to put the stuff. This is crazy, man. Looks like he's going back down that same street again. Pretty much everyone you look at is using drugs here. There's a dude off his chops. 
Where's the police? There's zero police. No one's stopping this stuff. There must be a lot of violence involved with this shit as well, right? Must be a lot of violence involved with this. People can't just be sleeping off the nut on the streets. And it's unclean as well. No type of place you'd want to live, really, is it? People are forced to live in these communities now, though. That's that's one of the, the main issues. That's one of the main issues right there. We've got people there trying to clean up where they live under that tree. An extra park, it seems. Um, one thing I've noticed, it's not really... Um, drugs doesn't discriminate. Drugs doesn't really discriminate. There's uh, people from all walks of life, all colours, all shapes, all sizes, all races. Um, probably from all class of backgrounds as well. And it just doesn't discriminate. It'll take any one of you guys. That tells me, don't try this stuff because you'll get addicted. You'll sell your soul. You'll live on the streets. You'll give anything for that next hit. Dude's got a nice bike. These just look, I mean... Surely these are just regular people chilling out. Doesn't look like they're users. Actually, no, she's got a crack. Was that a crack pipe? Yeah, they're not bothered. These people just do not care. There's a guy on the seat, on the seat just sprawled out. There he is. There's an, possibly an ambulance up top. Absolute misery. Everyone off their nut. Couples getting off it. He's probably, he looks like he's on the phone. Compass Mentis might be a seller. Wow. Troops have seen enough of that. Um, I would love to know where that actually is. Let me see if I can see it in the description where that actually is. I might be able to get a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> it didn't say. Doesn't actually say, guys. Um, oh, yeah, Kensington Avenue, Philadelphia. Still in poor condition. One of the top comments. Uh, let's have a look at these comments, actually. This is crazy. Kensington Avenue, Philadelphia. For me as a German, it's hard for me to understand how the richest nation in the world allows such conditions and does not care about its citizens. Yeah, I mean, you can't disagree with that, can you? As a Nigerian, I too have never seen such a large amount of homeless people roaming about without purpose. Even with our poor economic condition in Nigeria, at least it's not as bad as this. I just feel sorry for them. You can't help but not f feel sorry for them, guys. It's pretty, pretty treacherous, really. Um... Let me know if you want me to do any more digging on this type of content. I'll do it, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button and uh, original link in the description. Troops, I'll see you next time.